All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Ready for the magic? Mod Monday. The mod we're talking about today comes from Beyond Vape and Athena. Athena is the Chinese company. Beyond Vape is the American company. Anyway, this is a lipo-powered box mod. It does wattage mode. It does temperature control. It's got a little chamber, a little sidecar here. This is the Tandem 75 Watt plus TC. That's the official full name of it, Tandem 75 TC. So in order to get to know this device just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do, Quick short up, be closely time. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, what we got here is the Beyond Vape Tandem 75 Watt. It's co branded. Athena is the Chinese company, Beyond Vape is the American company, and it is the Tandem 75 Watt Plus TC. Now, this is a lipo powered uh, sort of sidecar little mod here. It's a little interesting little mod that I've actually really been enjoying. When you press the button, you have your whole display over here. The, the finish on here looks mirrored, but it's not. It's just clear plastic, so you can see through it really, really well. The buttons, eh, they're a little bit rattly. Maybe when we get back out to normal view, I'll try to let you hear these buttons, but they're a little rattly. When you rattle them around and when you tap on them like this, you can clearly hear them sort of moving around. USB right there for charging. Now the unique thing about the Tandem is the tank sits sort of inside the mod. There's these windows cut out here so you can see your tank. Then there's a big hole cut out right here so you can have your airflow unobstructed. Now this tank chamber right here is just a hair under two inches tall. So the tank that you put in here needs to be taller than two inches. If you were to take something a little bit smaller, like the Praxis Spitfire, set it in here, kind of line it up, you can see, yeah, that's going to fall really, really short of the top of this, and all you'll have poking out is a little nubbin of your drip tip. So make sure you get a nice, tall, longer tank in there. Additionally, the opening that your tank goes in seems to be about 23 millimeters around. Most tanks I found in here fit in here pretty well. There's been a few exceptions of tanks that I've grabbed that I've wanted to put in here that just kind of didn't fit. This is the uh, Mew tank and it fits in there just fine. But something like that new UL Rafale tank, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not gonna fit in there at all. It's a little bit too wide, just uh, it doesn't go in. It's got that protruding airflow and it's gonna keep it from getting down in there into the little chamber. Chamber itself has a spring-loaded 510 connection on there. And one thing I was worried about was airflow with this tank because it's only open on one side and closed in the back. I was thinking if your airflow holes were in the back that they were gonna feel obstructed. Such is not the case. Any tank I've put in here from the Mew tank to the Zephyr version 2. It's all fit in there just fine. I haven't had any obstructed airflow from the mod itself. Now, holding it, that's a different story. So once you got your tank in there and the airflow holes are all nice and open, how you hold it may obstruct your airflow. So you can see one of these Mew Tank airflows is in the back and one is in the front. Now, this doesn't cut down on the airflow, but the way you hold it will. So I make a conscious effort. And if you use this mod, you'll kind of have to make a conscious effort to keep this area clear. Finger on top, finger on bottom. Keep the airflow area clear. Don't do this because this finger right here is going to be covering up your airflow. Additionally, when you hold it in your palm, which is the way I want to hold it, yeah, now your whole palm is going to be covering up your airflow. So just something to keep in mind, the way that you hold this may not be the way that you wanna hold it. I wanna hold it like this, but my whole palm covers up the airflow. So instead you kinda of have to do, I don't know, one of these jobbers where you put a finger up here just to keep this airflow open. Nice big bright LED there. It shows you your battery level indicator. It shows you your wattage. It shows you your resistance in your ohms. It shows you how many puffs you have taken. To get to temperature mode, one, two, three, you can switch it to temperature. Temperature, what is that? Type, that's Celsius, so that's Fahrenheit. That's Celsius, that's bypass, and then that's normal. Now, now they say the Tandem has a huge 3200 ma or milliamp hour LiPo battery on the inside, which 
is kind of amazing. I've noticed that I get very, very decent battery life with it, especially since you can only go up to 75 watts at lower wattages. 66 watts is an example for this tank. I've been getting a really, really nice battery life. USB, one more time, right there. That's for charging. That's that's how you charge it. There's no batteries or anything to take out of this. So yeah, that's the Beyond Vape Athena Tandem 75 watt. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this guy. So they do make a little extension for this. It's like a little tube that you put in here in place of a tank and it raises your 510 connection to the top. And then you could use a different shorter tank or like that, you know, UL Ruffala tank. You could put that on top of there. And then it kind of just turns it into a regular 75 watt LiPo powered box mod. But to me, part of the appeal of this device is having this little chamber for your tank to go in. It kind of makes it unique, you know what I mean? It kind of makes it cooler than other just regular box mods. When you're using it, you have to be aware of where your fingers and hands are. You don't want to cover up any of this airflow like I showed you in the up close portion. This is the Mew tank. One of the airflows is in the front, one of the airflows is in the back, and if I don't cover it up, if I don't obstruct it in any way, the airflow is nice. It's Mew tank-like. There's nothing restricted about it. It's nice and open and swooshy. But if you were to grab it like you want to grab it, or like I want to grab it, you put your finger across the front, nope, you just block the airflow holes. You put it against your palm, nope, you just block the airflow holes. It's kind of a bummer. Overall, this mod feels really nice. It feels really well made and durable and really well put together. The buttons, the buttons rattle. Do you hear that little bit of rattle happening there? Especially if you touch them, they just rattle. They are nice and clicky. They just happen to rattle a little bit. Like I said, overall, I do really enjoy this mod. Not every tank that you want to fit in here is gonna fit in here, but with the addition of that little extension tube you can pick up for $15 extra, you can use basically any tank or rebuildable atomizer that you want on here. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands? Maybe a little bit. $85. Eh. $85. $85 seems a little bit expensive to me, especially if you're going to buy the attachment that goes in here so you can use rebuildable atomizers and different sized tanks on here, then you're in up you're in into the $100 range for a small lipo powered 75 watt device. Da, da. I don't know. I don't know. Let's play. Let's play the alien game. Aliens come. They take everything I own. Would I seek out and purchase the Beyond Vape Athena Tandem 75 Watt with TC mod? I don't think I would. It's fun to use. I've really enjoyed using it, but I don't think this is something that I would seek out and purchase. The novelty of having the tank within the mod. Uh, it doesn't really appeal to me. I feel like a little bit of it is wasted on me. Additionally, I don't like having to hold my mod a certain way in order to not block or block the airflow. That just, ah, uh, it annoys me. In the end, yeah, obviously the decision is yours to make. I'll have links down in the description to the Beyond Vape site for both the tandem 75 watt TC mod and the little extender tube that goes in there as well. Like I said, it's really well made. It's got a nice big long lasting battery in here. It does 75 watts. It does temperature control, but this whole tank within the mod, eh, it doesn't appeal to me. Just feels a little bit lost on me. Anyway, I don't want to get rambling here, but that's what I got. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And as always, yes, let's keep on vaping. That's enough. Chamber itself has a uh, five. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, what we got here is the uh, fucking something. Like I said, it's really well made. No, nope.